Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for smart and simple tech tutorials. In today's video, we are diving into MOBA Xterm, the ultimate all-in-one remote computing tool for developers, system admins, and tech enthusiasts. Whether you need to SSH into servers, transfer files via SFTP, or run Linux commands on Windows, Moba Xterm has you covered. So, we're gonna talk about the key features, how to set it up, and some cool tricks to boost your workflow. If you're ready to level up your terminal game, let's get started. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Moba Xterm. You would notice that on the bottom corner, it says, an option to get the MOBA X term now if you click on it you will be forwarded here you have two more options you can choose from the home edition which is going to be free absolutely at no cost you can download it now and you would have to have all of these but if you want to scale up you might want to go for the professional edition which is around 69 dollars and you would have to have all of these you can subscribe all night and get a code if you want it all right but doing that we need to click on the download now button and then another page would come up uh, it has two more options you can download the portable edition or the mobile Xterm home edition installer edition i highly suggest you choose the second option if you do there's going to be a pop-up window where you need to continue on the installation process click on next obviously accept the terms and the license agreement click next wait for it and of course you might want to make sure that you're not using an id virus or you are giving this application a pass if it's interfering with the installation process all right and then from here all i have to do is click the finish button all right now what will happen is now the virtual box of moba x term will appear of course we need to maximize that and you have the option to see the servers on the left side if we have sessions all right tools and macros so you have two options here you could start local terminal if you want and choose the favorite theme i'm going to choose the dark one and if you want to create a new session all i have to do is choose a session type is it going to be an ssh or a secure shell session a telnet session RSH XDMCP, which is good for the Unix desktop session, RGP or terminal services session, VNC, FTP session, SFTP, serial file, shell, browser, mosh, AWS for Amazon Web Services, or WSL, which is good for Windows subsystem for Linux. Now, if you don't know which one is going to be the right option for you, you might want to skip this for now and make sure you have the access privileges as an administrator if you don't have you might want to request that to your organization for example we're going to using the ssh you need to get the remote host all right specify username the ports and you would have to have all these advanced ssh settings x11 forwarding compression and remote environment and click the ok button you also have an option at this point to execute macro at session start all right so if you don't want to deal with this, cancel it for now or click the X button. You have an option to the servers. All right. Now, now if you go to the next tab, which is going to be the servers, actually you can launch local servers from these. You have examples of TFTP server, FTP server, Telnet, NFS, VNC, and a lot more. So you can use it to temporarily run servers on your local machine for testing or file sharing. For example, we're going to be choosing the FTP. You see, there's going to be a play button. All right. Now, there's going to be a pop up window that FT protocol is not secure. So, if you still want to continue start FTP service, just click on yes. All right. Now, what will happen is, as you can see, it would remote the server settings for the root directory. All right. You have the server output and FTP server started. Now, all I have to do is click on OK, and you, you need to allow anonymous connections or use UTF-8 char set. If you do, what will happen is it will be done, all right? 
Again, you can use that to temporarily run servers on your local machine for testing or file sharing. Of course, the tools are here to access handy system and network utilities. You have X11 tab with JWM, list of hardware devices, list of running processes, which gives you network scanner right here, port scanner, packet capture like Wireshark or text editor, macro reader, you can use it to perform system admin tasks without needing extra installations. For example, we're going to choose the port scanner. Just put in the IP address and you can scan all the known ports or scan port ranges from this and you can click the start scanning. All right, it would give you information here and it would auto pipe out if you provide the IP address. All right. Again, for example, if you want to the networks or network scanner, Provide that and click the start scan. You see that? That's going to be the IP address and the name of your machine. You also have an option to deep scan if you wanted. All right. And click on close. Now the games. Right here. Okay. So these are going to be lightweight console games bundled with mobile X term. For example, if you're using like a Tetris or Sudoku. You can take a break or test terminal display capabilities. For example, we're going to do this while um, doing something. So it, it, uh, to make you preoccupied while waiting for um, diagnosing some network troubleshooting, you can work with the games. It's very handy, really. I like it a lot. You can take a break or test terminal display capabilities while using the uh, games. Now, again, these sessions are on the sidebar. All right, for a quick access and management of save sessions. You can use it to reconnect right here, easily to frequently access systems. Of course, the view section is going to be where you can control layout and visibility. You can show or hide sidebar, toolbar, terminal tabs, change font size. And of course, you can customize your interface for readability and workflow. The split is essentially an option for you to divide the terminal workspace. You can have a single terminal mode right here. You can have terminal modes, vertical split, horizontal split, and of course, the four terminal modes, which I really like because it's um, it gives you the, a multitasking feel. You can work in multiple terminal windows simultaneously in the same tab. Right? The multi-exec executes the same command on multiple terminals at once. You can run bulk commands across multiple servers or environmentals, which is ideal for system admins. All right. Again, if you want to exit the multi execution mode, click on it, and then you will be forwarded to the settings. Settings are here. All right. And then next is going to be the tunneling. You can manage SSH tunnels. You can set up port forwarding or secure access to remote services through SSH. All I have to do is provide the new SSH here. You can use local port forwarding, remote port forwarding, or dynamic port forwarding gives you the SOX proxy. All right. So what happens is your computer with the mobile extern, firewall, SSH server, and all of these. All right. Again, it requires a learning curve. So if you're not comfortable, do not be overwhelmed. Take your time and take your pace. Next is going to be the packages. We're going to cancel this and we're going to the packages. So the purpose of this is to add or remove any Unix or Linux command tools. So you can use it to extra plugins like JIT, GCC, Python, or like Mobex Terms Package Manager. Last on our list is going to be the settings. Now the settings is where... You can configure the mobile X term. You have the appearance, startup behavior right here, terminal, okay, X11, display, toolbar, and a lot more miscellaneous. So the idea is that you can personalize your environment and manage the user preferences. Again, when using mobile X term, do not be overwhelmed. Take your time. So um, basically, it requires a learning curve but the moment you realize you're getting the hang of it it's a piece of cake it's a walk in the park it's really a handy tool that i really like if you are planning to need an ssh into servers transfer files via sftp or even run linux commands in windows mobile xterm has you covered and that wraps up our dive into using mobile xterm so we've explored everything from setting up remote sessions, using SSH to managing files, 
all-in-one powerful terminal. If you are looking for an all-in-one terminal with built-in X server support, tabbed SSH, and tons of customization, we believe that MOBA X Term is a solid choice. It's lightweight, user-friendly, and extremely efficient for managing multiple sessions. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Like this video, subscribe for more tech tutorials, and drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.